Good news, everyone! It's Norm from Tested with Frank Ippolito. We have another video brought to you by Tested Premium members. It's an amazing project. Well, Frank, do you want to unveil it? It's the Farnsworth Project. Of course, it's the Farnsworth Project. We had the Zoidberg Project, which you guys might remember. Frank, you made an awesome mask of Zoidberg yep. that we unveiled at WonderCon and Comic-Con. Yep. And your obsession with Futurama. I like that cartoon, it's what can great. I say? <laughs> and the idea of bringing that something that's a cartoon to life. Uh, as a sculptor, it's, that's something that fascinates you. It's really tricky to interpret something that's a two-dimensional, very solid, flat artwork into something that might be realistic. Mm -hmm. And finding that balance is really fun. And I haven't done like a really cool old age silicone makeup in a long time, so I thought what better to do than Farnsworth. Now this is, is the big difference between Zoidberg and Farnsworth, where Zoidberg was a mask, yes. like Admiral Akbar, something you pull over your head, yeah. Farnsworth is actually a makeup, something you applied on a person. Yeah, this is sculpted on my friend Chuck, who I thought had a really great face to work for Farnsworth. He's got a real skinny features and he's got a pretty large nose, so it all just kind of works together. This one is specifically made for Chuck's face. Unlike Zoidberg and Akbar, which can go on anybody, this one will be made specifically to fit his features because it's going to be really thin uh, silicone prosthetics in the end. But it's a lot of the same process. So let's talk about this process from the beginning. Of course, it all starts with reference yes. and inspiration. Yes. And behind us, because you know people who worked on Futurama. Yeah, a couple of the directors I met through the Zoidberg project, they sent me the turnaround sheets for Farnsworth. And what does that inform you? That gives me a sense of proportion for how big his head should be or his nose or where the wrinkles on his neck should be. And as much as all the Matt Granig characters have these giant upper lips. I can't really do that. It just won't be a functional lip. So I have to find that balance of how big that lip could be and still make it look like Farnsworth uh, and still be a functional makeup. And that's the creative interpretation yeah. part. So you also have some CG renders like Zoidberg. Yeah. People who are fans of Futurama have created their own quote unquote lifelike versions. And you use those as kind of inspiration to see like, what problems did they solve mm -hmm. in that model and how would you tackle that? Yeah. Like, forehead or nose or upper lip in your sculpture. The size of the head, how much wrinkles or how little wrinkles. And some things I really like in this artwork, some things I don't really like. So it's kind of nice to kind of pick and choose things that, that may inspire me to create mine. So as a sculpture, uh, you have to split this up into parts because mm -hmm. there'll be prosthetics applied to a real person, your friend Chuck. Yeah. So underneath this sculpture, which you've worked on for a little bit already, there is a life cast yeah. of Chuck. This is just a white plaster life cast. And what I did is I got some paint and matched it to this color of clay. And I put a light coat of that paint on there so that that way when I'm sculpting, I'm not distracted by a stark white life cast while I'm putting this clay iron here. Like for instance, his lower lip, that's actually Chuck's lower lip. But if it was a white plaster life cast, it might look a little strange. But because it's all green, you can see it more as a complete sculpture and a, and a whole design. So what are the pieces that you're gonna split this off into before you apply it? Uh, it's gonna be ears, nose, upper lip, cheeks, neck, forehead, top of the head, and back of the neck. Wow, and as you finish the sculpture, uh, and you create a mold of it, it's gonna be individual mold pieces for those pieces of silicone. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a step that I do in another probably week or so. Okay. I'm gonna work on the sculpture a little bit more and refine some of the shapes, and then I'll separate all the pieces and I'll make individual molds for all those pieces. I also noticed you have measuring cups here, just temporarily for the, the eyes. Without those, it really takes away from Farnsworth, so much it, of it. It looks a little strange without them. These are just you know placeholders for now. I'm actually gonna build the glasses but you know, for kind of blocking out, these things just help. All right, so there's a lot more sculpting to be done. This is just like your first pass. Uh, for Tested Premium members, actually check on Tested, I'll have a link below, because we have a live sculpting demo from Frank for the Farnsworth Project. After the sculpt's done, there's molding, there's the, the creating of all the prosthetics, mm -hmm. and then the actual application of that yep. on Chuck, uh, which we'll show you some of that as well, to be unveiled hopefully in a month or so. Yep. All right, we'll be back with the application and the, the reveal of Farnsworth in just a moment. And here we are, the reveal. It's Farnsworth! It's finished. Hello! How are you? <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Frank, you did an amazing job. Uh, who's wearing Farnsworth? This is my buddy Chuck Lines. He's uh, an actor friend of mine. I've done uh, makeup on a handful of times. Oh my goodness. And we are behind the scenes right now at our show, Tested the Show, at the Castro Theater in San Francisco. This is where Farnsworth is going to be unveiled. What a reveal. That's great. <laughs> it was a mad dash to the end, that's for sure. And fabricated glasses yeah. for him. Talk about the parts. You had the. So there's six prosthetics all together there's a nose and upper lip, a forehead. Uh, the cheeks and the chin are one, each ear is separate, and then the top of the head and back of the head. So um, I made these little rub other rubber representations of the pieces that I could put on Chuck to kind of give myself an outline of how to glue these things down and how to line them up correctly. And because Chuck was the life cast that mm -hmm. he sculpted the original uh, sculpture on, it fits perfectly. Yeah, this is a copy of what the cheeks and chin are, and they're, they're real stretchy, so it's real easy to like misalign them. So mm. it's, it's uh, Kind of important to have these other ones. Well, we'll have the all the application process and more behind the scenes videos, like I said, on Tessa.com. Thank you so much, Frank, for doing this project. It looks awesome. Can't wait for the crowd to see it. Chuck, <laughs> oh my, yes. <laughs> we'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Bye. What's next? What's next? Well, I love. Futurama, and I love kind of I love the designs, I love the characters, and I really wanted to do a makeup, so I, I did a makeup. Good news, everyone! That's Professor Fonsworth. Wow! So talk about this. This is amazing. This is Professor Farnsworth, also from Futurama, but he's a human character. Yeah, it, I wanted to do something a little bit more subtle and a little bit more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> so I sculpted this on his head cast, and you know, th this is a little bit different process than Zoidberg, where I just sculpted a mask and we pull it on. This was about, I don't know, three-ish hours this morning of gluing him into all kinds of pieces. So. <laughs> <laughs> And then the application, you said six different prosthetics? Yeah, there's six different pieces. You gotta figure out which order to glue them in. And, and I had my buddy Mark Dubow helping me this morning, holding glue and helping me pull some of those big pieces onto him. Wow, you can see the wrinkles around his eyes. That's all sculptural You can work. see all my errors too. Don't get so close, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've glued, I've, I've put this makeup on. So there's a lot of things that I'm learning about the makeup. Um, I'm sure I'll do it again a couple of times. Awesome. Um, and I'll figure out how to make these things all work. Uh, and that's, I mean, that's the same with any process. Like, you, sometimes wow. you, you do it once and you, you figure out what you did it wrong and you want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> that looks incredible, Frank. Thank you so much for unveiling Farnsworth here today. And Farnsworth will be around to take photos after the show. Oh my, yeah.